Hey Bears, I am the Gaming Grizzly and welcome back to Harry Potter Magic Awakened. And today I want to talk about legendary cards and how to obtain them. At the end of this video I will also open up a bunch of library passes, which is one way of getting legendary cards and I will get a legendary card for sure. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video. Also, I am not perfect, so if there is a way of getting legendary cards that I haven't mentioned in this video, make sure to let us know in the comment section below. We are starting this video off with one of the most common ways of getting legendary cards and getting cards in general. The library and the library pass. If you click on cards in the bottom right and then see get cards in the top right, you will get to the library and then all you have to do is you have to study magic by utilizing your library passes that you have saved up. You can get these through various missions in the game and one library pass will grant you five new cards with the chance of a legendary card. If we look at the possible rewards, we can see that the chances of getting a legendary card is 0.75, which is quite low, but at the end of the day, it is a legendary card. Looking at the top right, we can also see that there is a pity system connected to the library pass, which means every 40 attempts we do in the library, we will get a guaranteed legendary card for sure. Make sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm going to open a bunch of these. Besides the library pass, which grants us five cards when we open it, we also have the curious card pack. The curious card pack contains four cards and we will get at least one epic or even legendary out of this pack. The more we pull, the higher the chances for the legendary cards are. And after 30 pulls, we will get one legendary card for sure. So we have another pity system right here with these packages. And we can also see that right now I have opened up four out of these 30 packages to get the guaranteed legendary. And my chances of getting a legendary before I hit the 30 mark at least right now, is 0.293 and the more I open, the higher these chances will get. And just like the library passes, you can get more curious card packs by completing missions in the game or even buying them in the shop. The next way of getting legendary cards is by opening the house chest. If you look at the interface in the top left, you can see the chest and currently I have 0 out of 20 activity points. If we click on it, you can see that I can get more activity points by taking part in the dueling club, in today's classes, the ball, practice matches and in the forbidden forest. As soon as you have enough activity points, you can open up one chest. These chests will recharge every three hours. So that means every three hours you can collect activity points and you can open up one chest. Currently, if we look at the chest, we can see that I have a chance of a common card, a rare card or even an epic card. But if we look at the chests in general, we can see if we go to the last chest right here, which is a golden chest, we get the chance to get a legendary card with 3.5%, which so far is the highest chance that we have in the game. And I'm very, very excited to open up more of these. But you also have to be lucky to get the golden boxes. So chances of getting other boxes are quite high because if you look at my three boxes, they are all common. But at the end of the day, I think this is a really, really good way for free to play players that are very, very active to get a better chance of getting legendary cards. And there are more ways of obtaining legendary cards. For example, missions. If we look at the top left, we can see our yearbook. Clicking on it will open up some missions that we have to complete. And here we can see that my next mission, mission 15, will grant me a legendary card. It will basically give me one random legendary card. So I get a different one than you will get. So that is really, really cool. Very, very nice to do. And we can also see on this mission board that the next reward I would get are more library passes. And after that, we will get more of the curious card packs. So the missions are really, really cool and they will give you great rewards. If you enjoy the PvP aspect of this game, you should definitely try to rank up as much as possible because this will be rewarded with great rewards. For example, legendary cards. If we look at the rewards right here, you can see that we will get a bunch of different things. For example, we will get library passes and gems as well as the curious book packs as we can see right here. And as soon as you reach, I think what is 7500 right here, we can see we will obtain a legendary card. So playing the PvP mode, definitely a good idea. And another way of getting legendary cards is by doing your homework. Yes, you heard me right, doing your homework. Which basically means just doing some tasks. Right here you can see on the right side it says homework. If we click on it, we can see that it basically resembles a season pass. And if we scroll through it, we can see that we have a bunch of rewards for the free sector. And if you buy the luxurious box, you will actually get better rewards. And at level 61, it is the first time that you get, and I think the last time, you only get one legendary card per season if you buy the luxurious box. You can see that there is a legendary card. 
So that's another way. And there are more missions that will reward us with legendary cards. If we look at the right side, for example, we can see admissions. If we click on that, we can see admission season. We have to go through a few quite simple tasks. And once we have finished a series of tasks, we can see that we are getting a key. And this key is basically giving us one random legendary card. All right, all right, all right. As I already mentioned, I will open up a bunch of library passes in the hopes of getting a legendary card. And of course, I will also finish my yearbook chapter 15 to get a guaranteed legendary card at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around and let's just see what we can get. There you go. Take my first pass and it's not even anything. We can see on the book, if the book is shining purple, we're gonna get an epic card. If it is shining gold, we're gonna get a legendary card. If there is nothing coming out of it, we are just getting nothing, as we can see right here. I mean, we got a bunch of rare cards, a bunch of common cards, which we can use to upgrade our cards. But at the end of the day, that is not what we are looking for. Again? Nothing? Excuse me? You could have get a, you know, Portis. give me at least one epic card. I would really, really appreciate that. Portis. But obviously, there are a lot of cards that I also use in my deck. So being able to upgrade these cards is also fantastic. Three in a row with only commons and rares. Very interesting. I honestly, previously opening up these uh, passes right here, I had more luck. Another one? Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I feel jinxed. Four <laughs> books in a row without Gorgeous. anything good. Maybe I am just, you know, charging up my luck to get one legendary right away. Okay, at least we're gonna get an epic this time. Five, five, <laughs> fifth time is the charm, I guess. Let's see what we get if it is a new card or if it is a card that we can actually... Oh, the fire crab is a new card, which I don't think is the epic card. No, it's not. And... Confringo. Ooh, Confringo! That actually is a new card. I highly appreciate that. There we go. That gets right into our collection. And we're gonna open up more. How am I so unlucky? How am I not getting anything out of my books? Oh, I appreciate that. I recently started using... Um... This card right here, the Conwall Pixie. Yeah, the Pixies. I recently used that, uh, started using that. I'm playing around. I'm still quite new to the game and I'm, I'm still trying to figure out which cards, especially in combination, are good cards. And, you know, it's a really, really fun game. Facing other players with other strategies is always opening my eyes to trying to use new cards. And even if they're just rare or common, you can usually use them in a really, really good way. In a really, really good combination, at least. So, we are really, it feels like I'm really unlucky with this opening right here. Come on. That's it. That's it. That. I have opened not a lot of books, not a lot of um, library passes before. But I was way luckier and I thought that the luck was like you get an epic card every two openings. But it is clearly not. I have two passes left. We are getting another five cards with nothing too special to it. Oh. I mean, at least I get the legendary card at the end because I will finish the chapter 15 in my yearbook. Okay. Yeah, leveling up a bunch of these cards for sure. As you can see, I can now upgrade some of these cards to level 4, level 5. And we're gonna open up the last one, which is also not giving up us anything. That is crazy. I was expecting a little bit more from these, but I guess that's just luck base. And, you know, we have a new card right here. I don't even have all the rare and all the common cards. So, obviously, I'm just starting out and I'm starting to build my collection. And that's it for the opening with the library passes. All right, so to finish this video off, I completed my yearbook mission 15. And as we already saw before, this will grant me one legendary card. What will it be? Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, I, I don't even want to click it. I don't even want to click it. Let's go. Let's see what it is. I love that the legendary cards are coming with beautiful animations. Oh my god. 
No way! I got a baby dragon! <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> that is so good! Look at this! Baby Antipodean Opalei? Opalei? Opal Eye. Opal Eye. Okay, I can't pronounce the words, but oh my god! Very, very excited. My first legendary card right here. Really, really like it. Hello. And if we click on tips, we actually get to see the card in action. Antipodian Opali. All right, he said it better than I did. But we can see how destructive this card is. Antipodian Opali. Oh my god. I'm very, very happy with that card. Ooh. Level 9 and we get some more rewards as well. Really, really like it. Clearly I have to figure out how to build my deck around this legendary card, around my first legendary card in the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to leave me a fat like. Also leave me a comment in the comment section below if you are playing the game and if you already have legendary cards, let me know which cards you have. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to The Gaming Grizzly and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.